Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> this is my first time printing out this horse print. It's a special gift for someone who bought an original painting. And um, the print turned out really, really beautiful. So I'm excited to start offering this in my shop. So if you're interested, check out my shop and you can find it there. Tuesday everybody so I have some good news cart number one has arrived operation organization is in session so um, this is what the cart looks like and just like my Cricut I wonder when I will actually set this up <laughs> if I do it by the end of the vlog I deserve a gold star <laughs> oh man yeah so um, I'm really excited about this. I don't know if I'm gonna put the Cricut on top of it, but like they have in the photo, but I think I'm gonna put my tissue paper down here, use this area for packaging, and then this area for packaging supplies. So I got a new tube of paint today, so um, sorry for the noise too. There's of course lovely construction going on outside as usual. But I got this um, tube of paint because I've been finding five milliliter tubes of paint um, for pretty cheap on Amazon. So I've been kind of collecting colors that I've always wanted to get. And so here's another one. It's Quinacridone Red by Daniel Smith. Let's swatch it out. So I'm just grabbing some on here, and then I already have some down that got on my fingers, and I just brushed it onto there. Well, that's a very pretty, um, kind of rosy red color. Let's see if I can thin it out. <laughs> a little goes a long way. Wow. Yeah, it's a very rosy color. Kind of reminds me of the Sennelier Opera uh, Rose a little bit. But it's super bright and beautiful. I'm excited to use this color some more. Wow, that's a giant swatch compared to my other swatches. <laughs> ah, I love this color, it's so great. Let's thin it out just a little bit more to see what it looks like. Yeah, it's very a very nice pinky red. I love it. Let's add a little droplet of water to see if we can get some texture. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this swatching. So my friend April's birthday is this month and she lives in the UK. Hi April. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna take the opportunity to paint her a few things that I don't normally paint myself. Um, I'm gonna take some of the subject matter that she paints and attempt it. So we shall see how it turns out. And um, April, you probably don't want to watch this part because it'll spoil the surprise, but if you want to watch, that's up to you. And um, let's see how this turns out. guys for my last painting for April I'm going to do a narwhal I actually had to look up how to pronounce that <laughs> anyway let's search for them on Pinterest and see what they look like because I know they have a horn and they kind of look like a seal but 
I could be wrong, so it's probably best to look it up and see what they actually look like. Oh, that is so cute. Look at that little guy. Oh, he's so chubby. I love him. Well, this is going to be fun. I was thinking of making a pink narwhal. Oh, that one's really cute, too. Ah, oops. Oh, those are adorable. Anyway, now that I've got some references, I will put it all together and create uh, my own narwhal. Um, April, you might want to skip this part. <laughs> make some procreate art. I'm gonna be making something for my um, YouTube banner. So let's see how it goes. This is my banner that I made a few days ago. I thought I'd actually show it to you. And it doesn't really match my icon at all. And one of my friends said that it looks like um, a, like my YouTube channel is about UFOs or something. <laughs> which, I, which I thought was really funny. But um, yeah, and on my iPad the text is cut off. So, um, I'm going to redo my banner. I'm not sure when, though, because I have, like, stuff I have to do. And, uh, yeah, so I'll have to schedule it in. But, yeah, um, I don't know. I need, I need to work on it, but I don't know exactly what to do to it. So, if you have any suggestions, um, please let me know in the comments, because I'm not, like, the best designer, and so I'm not really sure what to do with it. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. So I printed out my stationery and look how cute it looks. Oh, I'm so excited. Cause I got my um, plain paper in the mail today so I could finally test out the stationery. And it's actually a lot more faded in person. Like the colors aren't as contrasty and bright as they look on the screen. And um, the lines are really, really light and the, the little heart. So I'll have to probably do those darker, but um, yeah, super excited about it. Now it's like on an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper. So I'm going to see what a full size looks like too. And yeah, I'm so pumped about this. I hope my pen pals like it. So here's my stationery all cut out and I think it looks super cute. There's a closer look. Um, my cutter isn't very good, so there's some white lines on it, but I'll have to get a new cutter eventually, but yeah, I think it looks really cute. What do you guys think? <laughs> guys, this is what the living room, which is my studio, looks like now. Yes, it's messy, I know, but um, I'm putting in a shelf here that has lots of organization. I'm getting rid of the table while I'm folding it up and putting it away. So yeah, I'll show you the after in a second. So this is how the cabinet looks. Um, it's not totally clean because for some reason our water in our apartment building isn't working today. So I'm still gonna have to take like a damp cloth and rub it down and uh, get all the dust that I couldn't get off, off of it. But yeah, shelf, 
complete with cat. <laughs> There's a little hoon boon. Aw. And so that unfortunately has left the room even more of a disaster. So once I can clean this off, then I'm gonna put everything away. So that's the plan. So guys, I'm gonna attempt to film a little time lapse of me putting stuff in the shelf. Operation organization underway. Um, also, not a fashion YouTuber. Yeah, let's get started. All right, so first I'm gonna put the printer paper that I print all the prints on into the shelf. I print on Moab uh, and Trotter Reg Bright 300 paper. I have eight and a half by 11 and I have five by seven. Then I actually have a little box for the 5x7 paper, which is handy. I wish the bigger one came with a box like this, but it doesn't, so it'll have to stay like that until I can find a box. Have some Staples brand gloss photo paper so that could go in here too but maybe on a lower shelf because I don't use it as often so then I also bought laminating pouches um, and a laminator so that I could make holographic stickers and prints so I'll go there too I think I'll put my reserve inks and some more printer papers on the shelf as well. So I've got these two packs of sticker paper that I got from onlinelabels.com and one is matte white and one is glossy, weatherproof glossy. So I think I want a shelf for those. I want to have a place for all of my arches paper. It's hot press watercolor paper, 140 pound, 300 GSM or GM squared. Um, I'm going to go down here. So I'm gonna put my backing boards on the shelf. Probably put them right here. I have them in a few different sizes. I also have envelopes right here. They fit nicely there. I have my cello bags. I don't actually have very many of these. So I probably need to order more soon, but they can have a shelf too. More backing boards. More cello bags. <laughs> I've got envelopes in white that actually I felt weren't stiff enough to use to send my orders in, so I ended up getting craft ones that are really rigid. So I'm gonna keep these, but probably on a lower shelf because I don't actually use them for anything right now. I use these envelopes a lot, and they're black and they have a little closure like that. And I use them when people buy stickers and stuff like that. So let's stick those on the shelf. I've got this huge box full of envelopes. Holy shit. This can go right here. That is heavy. Holy crap. I'm going to take some out just so I have a few out so I'm not always digging into the box. Maybe I'll do that for this one too. And I'm a little winded now, but I think it looks pretty good. That's what it looks like. I still have a lot of stuff that I need to organize, like art supplies, oil painting supplies and stuff. But I showed you the two carts that I got. I need to build those next. On to the next clip. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Happy Friday, guys. So um, I put together this cart from Michael's. There's the Hanbun. She's been very interested in it. And yeah, it turned out really good. It was really easy to put together. I'm kind of nervous about the other cart, 
but I should be able to do it. And yeah, I'm excited to fill this with stuff. I think in the bottom I'm gonna have my oil painting stuff because it's kind of heavy. And then I'm not sure what I'm gonna have in the top. We'll just have to wait and see. Maybe uh, some pens, paints and stuff that usually clogs up my art desk, that kind of stuff. Guys, what is this? What is this? This is a new paint, of course. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. Good deal on Amazon. You know how it goes. So um, this is Quinacridone Magenta, Windsor & Newton, Series 3, and it's watercolor paint. And let's swatch it out. So it was already kind of coming out when I opened the cap. I hate it when that happens with watercolors, but I was ready for it. I had the pan out and I was totally ready. I'm just gonna put a bunch on there. I like having nice full pans. Oh, is that a little bit of hair? Oh, that's plastic from the pan. Weird. Kind of looks like black, but it's actually a reddish purple color. So let's swatch it out. Grabbing a bunch on my brush. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like fuchsia. Hope I'm getting a good shot of it. <laughs> I can't really see where I'm brushing. That is super vibrant and super pretty. And it's actually showing up pretty accurate on the camera or on the screen, so that's good. That is a really pretty color. Totally recommend. So this is how the studio space is looking. I also have all of this down here, but I still need to organize a lot of it. Then I have the shelf back there. And, um, but this space is looking pretty good. So I have this storage unit here, and I'm thinking I'm gonna get like kind of a big plant to put here. It might be fake, I'm not sure, um, because I don't actually get a lot of light because there's a balcony above me and then the sun sets past there. So don't have much good light, but we'll have to see. My brush is up here and um, some Posca paint pens. And I um, have my pencil crayons down here. And they're on top of the tissue paper so that my cat doesn't sit on it because she'll sit anywhere and everywhere. <laughs> so um, have to watch out for that. And I kind of wanted to keep this for um, mostly my shipping supplies. So I have all of this supplies here. Do not bend uh, stickers and washi tapes. Have my wax and my post-its. Um, some more post-its and a stationary sheet. And this one's empty. And, uh, and then in this one I have my uh, uh, lighter thing. I have my candle that I melt the wax on. And I have a little furnace here for when I start getting more orders, hopefully. Um, I can break this out and not have to melt wax over a candle. And then in the last drawer, I just have my paints. And this might move, I'm not really sure yet, but that's where it's at right now. Little Hun Bun says hello. <laughs> and then in my cart here, I have a whole bunch of pens and stuff. And I don't actually use these very much, but I was hoping if they're on this cart, I'll actually use them more. Because I'm going to keep the stuff that I use on my table. And um, down here, I have some pens in here and some um, gold and silver ink stuff and black ink in here. These are my acrylic gouache. And then I have my oil painting supplies down here. And yeah, so I really love this cart. I definitely need to get another one though because I could totally fill another one too. But yeah, that's kind of operation organization. So guys, I just wanted to close out the vlog by saying a little bit about Black Lives Matter. Um, I fully support the cause, the people, and the protesters. And I'm going to leave links below so that you can educate yourself on everything. And you can hopefully donate if you have a little extra money. And um, I've been watching a lot of black people's stories on Instagram, like IG stories, the longer videos, where they talk about a lot of examples of racism that white people may not know that they're doing, participating in, uh, or that we live in a society that allows th certain things that seem normal, but they aren't right. 
And so I really recommend um, looking at um, everyone's stories on Instagram because they're so enlightening. And the, um, the Black Lives Matter website is really a great resource too. And um, it's just been a really big learning experience. It's felt really heavy, the whole situation, but I can't imagine uh, what it's like to live your whole life going through all of these issues because of the color of your skin. And um, the weight of that must be very, very heavy. And um, I can only imagine, and I really, I can't. I can't. And so um, I'm doing my best to try though and to make some positive changes in my life with my family and um, with my artwork and I just want us to all step forward from this revolution into a positive world with equality and um, hope for a brighter future and no more police violence and murder and yeah I guess I'm just speaking from my heart whatever is going through my head and I hope that's okay I hope I don't offend anybody because um, I feel kind of nervous talking about this topic because I don't want anybody to be hurt by anything I say or that anything I get wrong. Just know that I'm trying and so many other people out there are trying and um, Black Lives Matter. Yep. And I just also wanted to add a little, little thing onto that. Um, if you don't support black people or people of color or um, plus size people, LGBTQIA+, I hope I got that right, um, and uh, people with um, mental illness and physical disabilities, mental disabilities, you know, if you're not someone that can empathize with people and understand that these are real things in people's lives, real people, uh, then, you know, maybe find a different channel to watch. But for everyone else, I welcome you and I'm happy that you're here and we'll grow this channel together and we'll grow this beautiful world together into something amazing for everyone. So that closes out this vlog and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.